Good morning, everybody. And I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I do apologize for that. Um, sometimes, you know, life gets us and I shouldn't let that interfere with my my ministry on here at all, but it has. Um, but I'm hoping to get back on here and at least make a video a week. I don't want to make promises I can't keep, but I'm going to try to at least make a video a week now. I do have a lot of things that, you know, I noticed that I'd love to share with the world, but sometimes I just can't put them into a, a way to explain to everyone without getting on here and just reading a list off of everything that needs to be talked about. Um, but today I do have a topic that I'd like to talk about. Um, and I'd like to start off with a little testimony first, you know, in John fourteen thirteen, and I got some notes down here I'm going to read off of. In John 14, 13, it tells us, Whatever you ask in my name, I will do, that the Father will be glorified in the Son. So, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. How many times do we go through life struggling in situations and struggling with things that we, we could ask for help for? And, and Jesus promised us that whatever we ask in his name, he will do. You know... I just recently started a new job. As y'all know from my previous videos, I was at a new job then, but things weren't working out because my body was was failing me. I was in a lot of pain and my sicknesses had started flaring up. Um, I had been off of work for a year and a half prior to going back to work because of my illnesses, but I needed to get back in the work field. and get back to making money so I tried a couple different jobs in the past few months I was working in a kitchen as a cook and then I got a job at the Dollar General as a cashier and you know I thought these jobs would be easy but there were still there were just so much on my body and I really enjoyed working at that job as the cook because I was working at a place called Johnson's Kitchen it's in my little small town here in Hammond Louisiana and it's a Christian-based restaurant. The owners are Christian. The music playing in the background is um, Christian music. And there's just a sense of peace in there. So when it came time for me to have to tell the owner, you know, that this isn't working because I'm in pain and all this, you know, she prayed with me. And we prayed and we talked about things that I could do that might not be as bad on my body. She was even trying to figure out a way that maybe I could just work part-time. You know, she was doing everything to try to help me. And in the prayer and in the talks, we were discussing, um, you know, working from home or something like that. And I had mentioned to her that I actually applied for a work from home job um, recently, but I hadn't heard back from it yet. But she told me, you know, she was going to continue to pray for that situation in my life. And I also had mentioned it at church and I had my church group praying for my situation to get this work from home job and then of course I was praying as well and I had a peace even though months had went by and I hadn't heard anything I knew that I had asked the Lord for this position and for this to happen in my life if it was his will and if it would be better for me and so I just had a peace that it would happen and lo and behold guys I just completed my first week of training with my new job and all week I've put in I put in a 40 hour week and I have not had the pains that I would have had when I was working at the dollar store or in the kitchen um, and you know I've never done any type of computer work or work like that so my prayers this week have been Lord you know let me let me understand what I'm learning and let me soak it in and let me excel and be do well at my job. And I have been surprised at my own, um, I don't want to say intelligence, but I'm going to, yes, intelligence when it comes to this job that I had no idea anything about computer programs and, and such to do. But the, the learning has been easy for me to understand and my body's been cooperating. So it's been 
a blessing and I don't think I would have gotten this far had I not asked God for the help to get here. So I just wanted to start off with that testimony because there's a topic that's going on, it's been going on for some time in the news that I wanted to bring up. My pastor had brought it up Thursday night at Bible study and then again this morning for service which I shared on my channel if y'all um, didn't see it go check it out I'll be trying to share his services here now that he's posting on YouTube he goes by the Swamp Shepherd and it's brother Mike de Phillips he is a wonderful man anointed by God he preaches the true Word of God and I'm just blessed that he's been in my life for so long. He's a great, great preacher. Um, but he brought up a topic about these abortions that um, I can't remember what state he said, so I don't want to lie on the state. But in a specific state, they now have a hotline you can call for abortions. And through the hotline, you can choose an option for a satanic ritual abortion where when you have your abortion they'll do a religious service with the satanic temple maybe or something to do with them and they offer up the baby that's being aborted to satan to to the throne of satan in hell or something like that it's it's sick it's twisted and not only are they killing these beautiful babies that not even giving them a chance to live but now they're killing them in the name of Satan they are literally doing child sacrifices and our government money is paying for this there this number has been put on billboards and you know tax dollars are paying for this advertisement of this and for the the, the situation and nobody's standing up against this this is, we are Christians, we're called to stand up and stand our ground and stand apart and nobody's doing nothing. You know, you don't have to go and protest and call the, the government officials to do something, y'all. You have the power to do something right here, right now. I'm in my bedroom. I have the power right here in my room. All we need to do, y'all, is pray. We need to pray to Jesus that this stops, you know. We have a power within us to pray. And he tells us in John 14, 13, that anything that we ask in his name shall be given to us. I'm sickening, I'm sick, sickened by the things that go on in this world on a daily basis. And... I'd like to get on here at least once a week and talk about one of those topics because maybe other Christians aren't aware. Maybe, I don't know how this is accepted. I don't know how someone can go to church on a Sunday morning knowing this information and be comfortable with the way the world is and just be like, well, that's just how it is now, you know. A lot of us know Jesus is coming soon and I've even heard some Christians say, you know, well, this is just how it is. This is how it's supposed to be before Jesus comes back. But you know what? We're here. We're here right now, and we're here, and we can do something about situations. You know, there's a restrainer here for a reason. We are here. We're called to, to pray. We're called to heal. We're called to go out and spread the gospel. You know, Jesus hasn't came yet. It's not over yet. We need to continue to do what we've been called to do through the Word of God while we're still here kicking and breathing to do it. And um, that's the topic I had for y'all today. And I just want y'all to remember John 14, 13. I'm going to read it one more time before I end this video. But it says, Whatever you ask in my name, I will do. That the Father will be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Remember this verse as you go out throughout the week, guys. Apply it to your life. If you're going through something, struggling, pray about it. You got a friend or a family member you're worried about, pray about them. And bonus, pray for someone with someone this week. Ask someone, your children, 
your friends, your coworker, your husband, your wife, you know, ask them, what is something that you've needed in your life? What is something that I could, I could pray with you about? And let them hear you speak to the Lord and let them know that you care and that the Lord's there listening and just be a good example to somebody. In Jesus' name, I love you in the Lord.